welcome here sign I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back um, thank you for returning remember um, this is the full moon for um, the month of uh, um, June and I want to say to each and every person um, be aligned with the energies okay for the month of June sorry ladies and gentlemen it is so bloody hot so what is here for the month of June um, there is a lot of mercury braid okay um, this full moon is in Sagittarian so if you have Sagittarian in your birth chart you will have some luck with this full moon so this is going to be wonderful um, the full moon begins on June 5th okay so June 5th is the full moon and as of June 5th um, this full moon in Sagittarius is going to bring a lot of luck because Sagittarius is ruled by the planet of Jupiter okay so once you have Sagittarius in your birth chart there is going to be a lot of luck coming your way all right so whether you're a sun moon horizon sign once you have Sagittarius in your birth chart you're going to be having um, a lot of luck coming your way all right ladies and gentlemen let's get in this remember use um, um, the um, the stamp in order to see um, whether you're a Sun sign moon sign and then the general reading where we look at all six houses and all that is going to be happening in these um, 12 houses why am I saying six houses and all what is going to be happening in all of these 12 houses that is coming up okay so ladies and gentlemen um, let's get in this first we're looking at uh, the Sun sign okay and the Sun sign people are the people who are born between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. so Sun sign people what we see here um, in your um, balance is that we see um, you're dealing with relationships especially um, people married people um, some of you could be thinking about turning your back walking away leaving your marriage whatever is happening and transpiring I see some of you could be thinking about I'm um, just turning away and leaving your marriage whatever the reason is and whatever that is transpiring um, this is a situation that I see is coming out from May coming into June and um, some of you are thinking about that some of you um, who was thinking about leaving your relationship could be thinking about staying However, this is happening and transpiring. This is wonderful. I think that some of you are also going to be receiving a lot of money. Some of you are going to be having fame. Um, some of you, um, yeah, definitely is going to be having fame. Um, whatever the spotlight is on some of you, is it good or bad? It is good. And I see that some of you are going to be receiving a lot of money. Then um, we look at another energy that is here, and it is the energy of the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So some of you are thinking about the loss of some money, the past. In the past, there was some loss of money. And I see that some of you are really thinking about it. Um, it could be for some of you a loss of money, but it could be for some of you that there was some discrepancy where someone has stolen some money from you in the past now however this is coming up and however it's going to affect you we're going to be looking at what has happened and transpired okay so that is what is in your foundation um, um, for you sun sign people in this month and what is over covering you is uh, um, regrets okay and these regrets uh, um, regrets emotional regrets with a relationship with a marriage um, is coming up for some of you some emotional regrets um, some of you could have left your marriage got in a relationship it didn't work out and you're regretting this some of you could have um, thought that you were going to get married it didn't work out and you're regretting this so 
whatever is happening and transpiring there is some great regrets that is coming up in relationships and in marriages that some of you are dealing and coping with okay so I think that some of you could be thinking um, you know let me wait this out and then I am going to be looking for someone better or someone who will offer me um, what I'm supposed to have okay so however that is coming up and transpire the spotlight and fame is going to be on um, some of you whatever is happening and transpiring there is um, fame um, you could be in the spotlight I see some good news is coming up for some of you sun sign people whatever that was happening and transpiring I see you could be um, famous for something that has happened and transpiring the spotlight is on some of you and this is good I see some of you are just dealing and coping with whatever it is it is as if you're realizing um, you know I'm gonna focus myself in work I see some real good news um, um, some um, awards on it um, and I see good news about money is going to be coming in so if you notice in the foundation what was affecting you guys was uh, um, love waiting on some news and uh, money that you have lost in the past this money is going to be returned so this is really good for you sun sign people because whatever is happening and transpiring um, and whatever that happened in the past this full moon especially if you have Sagittarius in your birth chart it's going to be returning this money because this was money that was lost in the past and uh, um, this money is going to be returning to you this is the energy of uh, the ten of uh, Pentacles so the, this is absolutely fabulous the last energy that we have here um, it is the energy of uh, the tower a tower moment is coming down a tower moment is coming down on a young um, I, I um, and something is leaving your life and we're going to be looking at what is transpiring and what is leaving your life because I see whatever is leaving your life you're going to be making um, some decision and move forward letting go of something that no longer serves you so I see something is definitely going to be leaving your life and however um, this is coming up uh, this is going to be um, it's as if it's time for you to realize something and let it go so it could be a relationship okay um, and it could be that uh, the loss of some money maybe if you let it go um, the universe will find a way to return it to you so I see a towel moment is coming down so something um, definitely is going to be leaving your life however this is coming up and transpiring there is definitely a moment of uh, a ending of something that is going to be coming up okay so however this is um, going to be transpiring in your world there is really a tower moment where something is going to be leaving your life so I see a lot of you are going to be making some decision um, decision about what direction to go in decision about how to go move forward how to move forward um, with a certain issues and certain situation I see some of you um, will receive some news um, some letter over whatever is transpiring and whatever is going on but um, it's um it's, it's, it's just that you have to figure out whatever is going on for yourself so that you can um, basically um, resolve things and issues for yourself so I see regrets uh, with some money that has to do with a divorce for some of you or your partner or a family member a whole lot of regrets with some money however this is happening and transpiring you're having um, to deal with a whole lot of regrets where some money could have been lost in the past okay and here we have you regretting um, this and it could have to do with a divorce uh, uh, yeah it have to do with a divorce it has to do with uh, um, just some destructive situation um, where people have stolen I see a lot of you are in thoughts and this is bringing really positive news positive alignment of energy that is um, coming in um, it's as if you are here thinking about and I see um, some of you recognition uh, some of you are going to be receiving 
um, recognition and some of you are going to be um, winning an award however um, that is coming up and transpiring I see some of you are going to recognize for some good work um, that you have done and this is good I'm sorry damn, um, ladies and gentlemen I can't open the window because they're working um, outside and the machine is so loud okay so um, whatever is transpiring I see really some good news recognition is coming in and this is going to be positive I see a lot of delirious and I see that some of you are dealing with some issue where you realize that you have lost a whole lot of money and you're kind of pissed off and however this is transpiring some of you could also be dealing with a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and whoever this person is has stolen a lot of money from you or um, has uh, done something that you have lost a lot of money and I see you're so pissed off with this person and you're really um, you know it's as if it, I, you know this person never stops whatever is transpiring it's as if this person never stopped and whoever this person is I see that the universe is going to be removing them out of your world it's as if the universe thinks you know um, it is good um, you have done enough damage here and this tower moment is going to be coming in and remove them out of your life because the universe have realized how much damage they have done to you it could be um, a sister or a brother um, but whoever this young person is has created some real horrible um, horrible deceptiveness in your world and I see what is happening here and transpiring is as if the universe is saying um, enough is enough and they're releasing this person I see that this young person is delirious um, delirious or just crazy out of their mind okay there is there is something is it your child is it a sister is it a, someone you were in a relationship with whoever this person is um, it, it is coming up as a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn okay a very destructive uh, uh, is it destructive or the person is just uh, really crazy okay really um, unstable it's, it's, some of you are going to be finding out that this person is really unstable okay so I see that you're going to be making a decision in order to release this person out of your life or whatever um, however you're going to be doing this it's as if you're going to be saying yeah you know this is enough this is enough and I see you're going to be removing this person out of your life okay so I see a tower moment is, is coming in and this tower moment um, and this is so good because what is happening here and transpiring is that a tower moment is coming in and I see an end is coming to some destructive and deceptive situation that was created around you that has to do with a lot of money okay so be aware of this and be aware of the deceptive um, ness that has uh, um, transpired with a whole lot of money whether you were connected or whether it was stolen from you however this is happening and transpiring okay but for some of you I see with relationship you are um, just upset because you have lost a lot of money um, maybe you were um, you divorce and uh, you divorce and you never asked for alimentation and you thought that this new person would have married to you so you lose your alimentation and you you lose everything because it's as if this person wasn't being very very honest and uh, this created a lot of issues for you guys okay so um, sometimes um, and it could be also for some of you is a business partner a business partner who has thrown you on their um, the bus however this is happening in transpire it could be a business partner that has uh, um, created some real or but deceptiveness for you um, and that has cost you a lot okay and you are here now trying to get yourself back on track so I see regrets um, some of you could have regrets over a scorpion some of you could have regrets over a Pisces however this is happening and transpiring I see um, regrets is coming up uh, and it has to do with a whole lot of money some of you are going to be finding out something about your husband or wife and uh, um, a lot of money um, 
however it is coming up it is as if you find out as if they kept some secrets about a lot of money so they could have had debts and you weren't aware of this or they could have had money and they eyed it okay unexpectedly i see some of you a message is going to be coming in and this is where um you're in the spotlight where you're going to be honored honored for um resolving something resolving some issues so i see the energy of honored is coming in a message is going to be coming in to some of you for something that you have done news is coming in about some money and this is going to be good i see you're going to be using this money um to do something good so some good news so it could be a payout or it could be um an increase in your money but it is going to bring um financial stability for you so news is coming in about some money now um good news is here a lot of money um the ten of pentacles so it could be money that was stolen um from you in the past is going to be a returning so some good news is here and uh, um it's all about money okay heartbreaks okay so what is happening in transpired this knight of pentacles i see a transition i see an end coming up to this knight of pentacles whoever this knight of pentacles is or was was someone that was being that was blocking your life okay so this person could have been on your computer your phone this person you could have ended a relationship with this person but this person just keep on going and going and going and i see now finally you're getting rid of this person finally they are seeing the deceptiveness that was at play and you're getting rid of this person i see that this person is just delirious okay so let it go let it go just move on with your life let it go because this person just was just bloody delirious in their head okay so it can be a child it can be an ex-partner ex-lover um that um you know created some obstacles in your life and um you know has been just creating havoc and will not let go because they they realize that they have lost something okay and they wouldn't let go so you know the and really what is transpiring here is about finding out and uh, realizing that you know some of you you could have made a wrong choice at this moment is looking as if it's a wrong choice um some of you could be saddened because you have left your marriage and you're not getting alimentation now um you're in a relationship a partnership you don't know where it's going and you are you start to think in, in this period that to say you know it was better that i stayed in my relationship it's going to be a little bit delirious for some of you but I see um, what is transpiring. I see unexpectedly some of you, whatever money that was stolen, it is going to be returning. Okay. So um, this is why I say to a lot of people, get um, get um, 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 a reading, a personalized reading, because these are just general readings. And with these general readings, it is not specific, specifically done for others. So um that is the reason why i always 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 advise people to get um a personalized reading we're moving on to the moon air sign people okay the moon air sign people so let's see what is coming out for the moon air sign people okay um moon air sign people and this is the people who were born 6 p.m till 6 a.m all right so a message fell out and it is the nine of cups in reverse okay so your wishes and dreams is in reverse so that is one of the message that comes out and i see justice okay then i see the energy of the sun some information is going to be coming at you okay so i see that some of you um you regret something that your wishes and your dreams is not going to be in fulfillment but um in, in with the family you're going to be okay so let's say you had a relationship it didn't go good but with the family things are going to be okay i see you find out the truth of some um and it is a go ahead i see that people are now seeing um the truth especially for you men okay I see the conflicts. I see people are seeing 
um, what the conflicts, how the conflicts was created. Um, people are now realizing that some of you were dealing with some conflicts, uh, how this conflicts was realized, um, and you have the energy of relationship or partnership. So your outcomes is all about relationship and partnership. So um, what this is saying is that some of you had some regrets with your um, your relationship, but I see um, um, it's like your family is thinking, you know, yeah, you know, it's sad for he or she, but maybe it's better. Okay, so it is a situation where, you know, whatever that was happening and transpiring, it's as if um, you're thinking, you know, you're lost my game. And this is going to be helping you to move forward. So I see your family is going to be there and supporting you. So this is going to be good. Then we see the energy of um, the Knight of Swords, okay, and and the King of Swords. So you men, 50 years and older, I see you're going to be standing up and speaking up. Um, whatever it is transpiring, um, you're going to be standing up and speaking up, especially the Geminis. Um, men 50 years and older, you're going to be standing up and speaking up for your right, okay? And um, this is going to be very, very good. Um, what is happening? Because you're going to be just really being honest about a, a, a issue and a situation. And I see that that is the best thing. Um, so it could be a situation where you're going to be standing up and speaking up either for someone else or um, speaking the truth about uh, a situation. Whatever the conflicts is, I see truths are going to be coming out or um, about the conflicts that has been going on. So some of you um, in a relationships, uh, in relationships or um, friendship, there could be some conflicts. And I see people are going to be finding out why is there a conflicts between you and, 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 and um, your partner or you and the family or you it's because um, it's as if they're see the people are looking out of the box. So some of you, um, your wishes and dreams didn't come true. But what is going to be happening is that the energy of the magician is going to say, it's okay. It's okay. That's not the way it was supposed to go. It is okay. Let it go because there is something better that is coming up for you. And it is best that it is um, it is best that it doesn't, um, go in that direction. So that is very good because it's as if some of you are beating up yourself about a relationship and they're saying, let go because there's someone new that is going to be coming in. And it's, it's as if they're saying, let this, let it go, you know, um, you know, be happy that it, it, it turned out in that way. Be happy that it turned out in that way because um it was meant to be okay so um that is um something for a lot of people because a lot of people are always so i see a transition is coming up a lot of people is um um yeah a transition some unexpected surprise is going to be coming out for someone um when i said relationship um um some of you could be in a relationship you got to let it go because um uh, there is no Healing for this relationship is like this relationship is over, so let it go. Uh, it could have to do with a relationship, or you realize that yeah, this is over, let it go. And as you let it go, the universe is going to bring in something much better and much, much better for you. Okay, so some of you could be hanging on to a relationship that is no longer serving you, and the universe is saying, let it go because you know, you deserve, um, much better. And some of you are thinking, yeah, but how am I going to find someone in this time? Whenever you're ready, the universe always bring in that person. So I see that some of you young lady had a hope and wish for something. Um, but it's not going to be happening. Okay. So whatever it is, some of you young working ladies had a wish and hope for something. Um, but it's not going to be happening. So whatever is transpiring, um, I see that some of you young lady, um, or some of you I'd, I'd wish and hope for something, but I see it's not going to happen. So let it go. Move on. I see a whole lot of sadness, 
a whole lot of sadness is coming up for you young ladies um especially with work and that sort of a thing i see um some of you young ladies a whole lot of sadness truths comes out about a situation and some deceptiveness that was at play i see you men coming down and finding out some deceptiveness that was going on and I see truths are going to be coming out and you older women are seeing the truth about your partner, the truth about your partner's children, the truth about your um, children's partner. Um, truth is coming out because I see you older women are standing up uh, and speaking up against the lies and deceptiveness, um, the, the, the falsehood that was created around some of you. I see that some of you are going to be falling in love and this is good um whatever is transpiring some of you and it's as if um some of you your parents or family is saying let it go let it go um there is someone better that is coming in so whatever is transpiring a lot of you are having issues with relationship and partnership and it's as if the universe is saying look let it go because something else and something much better is going to be coming in so yes this person is going to be coming in um so expect um this person is someone from overseas from a different um nationality um that is going to be coming out um in is someone who really cares about you someone who loves you and really cares about you so let it go okay there is some sadness some of you, your daughter or your son, your, your your daughter or son between the age of 18 and 45 could be saddened. Saddened for a relationship that is over. But I see the family is going to be supporting you. So if that is it, saddened that you did not receive um, a work contract, that could be it. And it's going to affect the people between the ages of 18 and 45. I see sadness come down on um, young people between the ages of 18 and 45 out there where um there is some truths that came out about you young people and i see a whole lot of sadness um and it's um it's going to be affecting the gemini women okay some some is gemini women um um that i see that there is just some sadness that is going to be coming up you old and mature people um 50 years and older 45 and older it's going to be good for you I see you are seeing the deceptiveness uh, that has transpired um, with the conflicts around you and you're showing up people. Some of you um, young ladies wanted a new start, wanted a new contract, and this is not going to be coming in. Um, I see some of you are trying to find inner strength to deal with this issue and this situation. Um, I see you're having issues with family a lot of you are having issues with family members okay um whatever the sadness is i see that some of you men are just going to be just speaking up and just say exactly how you feel and walk away from this i see truths are going to be coming out twice the energy of the magician this is so powerful and so good whatever that as transpire you're going to be having twice the energy of the magician and however this is happening and transpiring you are going to be finding out truths and um these truths are going to be transpiring and the energy and the information that is coming out balance is called for um you need to find balance however you're dealing with issues for people 45 years and older you need to find balance i see you're going to be um bringing um that balance in your life in this full moon and this is going to be positive some of you i see conflicts with a pisces cancer scorpion person whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring i see that um it could be a child for some of you and for some of you it's come on some deceptive sort of an issue and situation around children and i see um you guys are trying to work this out and trying to balance this out and trying to make some sort of a shift that is going to be happening so i see truths come out truths come out and, and and deceptiveness but truths come out about some issue and some situation that has been happening and transpiring i see deceptiveness that has um transpired and i see truths coming out okay so um a new relationship is coming in 
whatever is happening and transpiring a new relationship is going to be coming in um i see that uh, a whole lot of sadness is here because of some deceptive play that was at hand I, I i feel the sadness for you guys i feel the sadness okay so um not to worry um with these deceptive play that is at hand and the deceptiveness i see young ladies there is going to be coming up some sadness not only for young ladies but people between the age of 18 and 45 with relationships and contracts and that sort of a thing okay relationship and contracts the older people i see um you're going to be resolving um a conflicts and showing up the deceptiveness that has been transpiring and you're going to be standing your guard um with relationship and i see some of you could be falling in love with someone uh, from another race or another culture okay so 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 all righty so let's go and see what is happening um for the houses um remember er, i will tell you which houses you all are in okay so um aquarian you are in uh the aquarian is in the 11th house um gemini you're in the third house and libran you're in the seventh house so i will explain this as i go along my heart my hair is sticking i need to really flat iron my hair okay so um let's go in and see what is coming up for you air sign people and remember to always listen to see what is coming up in the different houses so you be aware of what is transpiring so let's look at the first house for you guys all right so i see that some of you are going to be finding out the ascendance in the first house is the outlook of how you see the world and it's as if some of you are going to be seeing the truth about people in this world the truth about people in this world okay um in your uh, financial situation there's conjunction conjunction of empowerment that is transpiring really conjunction of empowerment then we see the energy of uh, um some negative forces around you whether this is uh, this is dreamy illusion around your your living space in family um the square of conflicts in the family a lot of conflicts the square of conflicts in the family okay a lot of conflict in situation luck is in your um the fifth house the fifth house is passion so luck with people and groups that you are connected to um people who you have fun with you're going to be having luck with them then we have a semi sextile opportunities whatever is happening in transpiring i see you're just going with the flow when it comes up to work and your everyday duties this is really really positive really positive so that is good in a relationship you're also going with the flow i see that some of you are not fighting you're just waiting your time out and i think that this is good instead of you get in conflicts with another person you just wait your time out okay Pluto in uh, the eight house. Some of you, a scorpion, you got to be aware of a scorpion. That is a house of Pluto. And it has to do with investment, relationship, Kundalini energies, and that sort of a thing. And Pluto is there. So I see a transition. If you were having an affair or that sort of a thing, it could be over. Because I see transition. It's coming up with a contract or something that was happening. Then I see opposition from balance in the ninth house. The ninth house is about things, um, um, things that is not familiar. So things foreign, that sort of a thing. There is no traveling that is going on basically. So that's why there is opposition in this ninth house. So be aware of how this works. Um, so we have that in traveling because it's as if uh, you know people are not traveling as it used to be and um the opposition of balance in the ninth house 
I see an Elin. So some of you, your reputation could be Elin, whatever that is happening and transpiring. I see an Elin of the reputation that is coming up. However, this is happening and transpiring. Your reputation is going to be healed. So whatever is transpiring, um, some of your reputation is going to be ill. Now, I see an end to a contract for Aquarian people. Um, and um, this is definitely an abrupt ending for some of you Aquarian, whatever is happening and transpiring, there could be some abrupt ending for some of you Aquarian. For the rest of you, there could be shakes up when it comes on to work. So then we look at the 12th house and we see semi-sextile allowing in the 12th house. Semi-sextile allowing in the 12th house. And this is as, um, it's as if the universe is, is saying, um, water signs, uh, air signs, you need to um, start healing your karma, okay? Whatever the issue is, whatever the situation is, is as if uh, they're saying you need to heal your karmas. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, you need to heal your karmas. So this is the issue and the situation that is going to be very confronting for a lot of you. So, um, Gemini, there is a lot of mystery and negative forces uh, dreamy around you in this um, full moon. However, this is transpiring, okay? There's a lot of uh, dreamy things around you, um, Gemini's. Uh, Librans, you're cool. You're going with the flow. You're tuned in and you're going with the flow. So, Gemini, uh, Librans, you are so, so um, safe. But for um, the Aquarians, there is going to be an abrupt ending for something in your life, okay? So it could be relationship, a contract, the end, just an abrupt ending for you Aquarians. So you've got to be aware of what is happening and what is transpired. So Aquarian, brace yourself because of some abrupt ending is going to be coming in. So in the self, you, you realize and you see um, what people and who people are um, are all about and i see um you are going to be finding that out okay because you're going to be realizing how people are very selfish okay i see love of money this is the love of money this is the um second house the second house of money so it's a situation with love of money and what is transpiring is that there is some um conjunction where um there is some um chaos in your financial flow okay because of the love of money um gemini i see um a theft is going to be transpiring and it has to do with um some unseen way and unseen fixtures that is transpiring and is happening some deceptive um situation that is happening around you i see a theft i see you gemini a theft could be happening against you okay and it has to do with, uh, because this is Mercury, so it's unseen. You're not aware of this, okay? So the stuff could be happening um, where, um, like, people send whatever. I don't even want to go there. But Gemini, someone is using negative forces over you, okay? And is stealing something at the same time. So it could be information. People could be connecting with your dreams, in your dreams at the dream time and stealing okay um there is a complex with a child and a complex over a child whatever is happening and transpiring there's a complex with a child and a complex over a child i see a lot of you your signs are going to be dealing with issues in the family about a child okay a whole lot of issues in the family about a child um, I see that some of you are praying and hoping some of you want things to go back to normal so you can have fun um, with people around you, um, you know, your friends, reconnect with friends and people. And I see you're praying and open for this to happen and transpire. And it is going to be happening. I see some of you just want to go back to normal life, however this is transpiring, because it's in your fifth house. I see a message is coming in, and this is going to be good. Whatever the message is, is about work for some of you or um, about your everyday duties, health, um, you know, whatever is transpiring in your everyday. Yes, I see that this a message is going to be coming in. And this is going to be a very, very positive message because uh, um, this is going to be good. 
I see some of you Libran men. I see you just going with the flow. You're happy um, with your life. You're happy with your relationships. And I see some of you are just going with the flow. Okay. So that is really wonderful and positive. Then I see um, whatever the end to a business contract is coming up for some of you, whatever is happening and transpiring. I see the end to a contract that is coming up, the end to some investment um, shift and um, with your stability um, transition. Pluto is coming in to remove someone out of your life that was basically profiting from you. And I see Pluto is coming in and this is going to be good. In traveling, um, you guys are feeling stuck crazy in your mind. You want to get out. You want to get out. You want um, whatever is transpiring. There is just a whole lot of deceptive things. You feel as if you're going crazy. Uh, some of you just want things to be normal. You men, your reputation is going to be ill. Whatever that was transpired has affected your reputation in the past. I see um, Elin is coming in for your reputation and this is going to be good. So um, you men, your reputation is definitely going to be ill. So, then I see um, a huge disaster is coming up for some of you Aquarian, whatever it is. And this is a, it's a general reading, but some huge disaster. This is in the 11th house, the 11th house of the Aquarian. So you Aquarian, some huge disaster is coming up, okay? And um, whatever this is, um, it's just a, something huge, some disastrous thing. Maybe you find it as disaster, but I think that I end had to be made with this, okay? I think really I end, had to be made with this because of the deceptiveness that was at play. I see some of you are thinking about reconnecting with someone. This is the 12th house where some of you are going to be planning on reconnecting with someone in order to resolve a situation. I see some of you are going to be going towards someone and saying, hey, we got to talk, we got to resolve this, and we got to resolve whatever the issue is. And I see that is how you're going to be clearing your karmas okay and this is good so wonderful wonderful um situation is coming up and trans transpiring and um this is really really um going to be really wonderful really positive um sadness um that is happening um dismissal drama that sort of a thing that is transpiring okay some of you have to make some decision. I see some of you are going to be returning to a Capricorn and said, let's resolve this situation on our own. Okay. So I don't know what is going on, but I see that some of you are going to be returning to a Capricorn and said, let's just resolve this situation on our own. I see some of you are going to be finding out that you're healing within, that you are realizing how the world is and how people are very, very disturb and you're I, I see you're going to be you know receiving a message and you're going to be it's going to be a very um good message okay it's going to be a message where it could be an apology could be coming in to some of you um uh, people are going to be realizing and seeing and understanding um what was happening and you know some of you are going to be seeing uh, really um the world for what it is really the world for what is is so i see um some of you are going to be finding out that your your marriage or your relationship was just built on um a materialistic wealth okay so whoever that you were in a relationship because this is in the two the second house and it is the house of money and wealth and prosperity and you're going to be finding out that your relationship was just uh, built on um materialistic um out of materialistic because love fall in the house of uh, the two house the second house and some of you are going to be realizing that someone was only in your life because of financial gain um some of you are going to be um finding out that your marriage and your relationship was just um there because of their own financial gain and there was no love 
so if you notice the love is not in the seventh house or the eighth house the love is in the second house okay so you're going to be finding that about your partner or your relation now um, if you're in business and you have a business partner you're going to be seeing that they created um, issues in your financial house because that is the second house now um, Gemini you need to protect yourself from a TEF okay so Gemini protect yourself from a TEF and this person could be um, a Sagittarian or a Pisces okay so um, you got to protect yourself from a TEF a Sagittarian or a Pisces um, could be trying to steal something so you need um, because there is some um, it's as if they use negative forces in order to connect with you and it can be a Pisces or a Sagittarian so um, hold this off hold yourself off from these people and these situation there is a huge conflicts whatever there was in the family with a child um, some of you were dealing with some conflicts in the family about a child okay and this cycle is now over and I see that you and this child is so it could be cost to the battle um, that was happening between you and your your child but there is um, a child in a family that there was a lot of issue around and I see truths is going to be coming out and the cycle is going to be over and a resolution is going to be coming up as we look at the fifth house the fifth house is that you're seeing a relationship for what it is you're seeing the truth about people in your life um, that you thought was there for you some of you are going to be um, connecting with a Leo um, some of you are going to be finding um, happiness with a Leo but whatever is transpiring I see some of you are seeing the truth about the people um, around you that you were connected with that uh, yeah mm, I wish I didn't have okay some of you are just like saying I wish I didn't have then we have in the environment I see you're going to be receiving a message um, from work or from your or about a, an apartment a house that you were looking for so I see a message is coming to you guys at home and this seems to be a positive message is a message of opportunities that and doors of opportunities that is going to be open for you and this is very very good then I see an, uh, a situation with your liberals um, that you're dealing with someone in a corporation institution you could be having problems with your boss or someone at your work okay so however this is coming up is definitely someone at your work whereas you liberals um, could be having some issue with um, co-workers um, this is definitely issues with co-workers or issues um, and, and and whatever whoever these people is whether it's in a government institute organization or just issues with co-worker I see you're just going with the flow and just letting the person just be stupid okay you can't have an argument with an um, a stupid person okay can't have an argument with a stupid person and I see that you liberals are going to be realizing this some of you are going to be having issues with co-workers or issues with people in cooperation but I see you're going to be realizing Jesus these people um, you know they need help so a collaboration is going to come to an end there was a collaboration there was some um, collaboration so this can be issues like with mortgage car loan and that sort of a thing um, um, cuz the eight house is about investments okay um, so unexpectedly is as if they said oh you don't have to pay your car loan anymore or you have, don't have to pay this loan off anymore that sort of a thing because there's a lot of shift is going on especially for people in America and the rest of the world is as if they're changing up the financial system so um, like you will just receive a message yeah um, this loan is being phased out so it's okay um, you don't have to um, so they're going to end it and they're going to be realizing that the loan has phase out or let you know that the loan has phased out you don't have to pay on this loan so on abruptly some sort of a loan or some you know credit card payment and, and that sort of a thing is just crash it's just no um, um, and you go back to zero that you have no loan so this is cleared so however this is transparent it is in a good way it's not in a bad way it's actually 
um, very good because um, the world is changing the monetary system so I see a lot of craziness um, I see lies and destruction um, with someone who is um, um, from a different race or a different country um, very sick person you're dealing with a very sick person from a different race or a different um, country and it's opposition from her uh, mirror but it's so many lies and deceptiveness that is going on so many destructive lies and deceptiveness that is going on with people from another country or another religion or another race destructiveness these people are really cuckoo I see that you air sign people is going to be seeing the imbalance of the mental of people in this world and Elin is going to be coming in for you men and whatever is transpiring I see you're going to be offered something so in the tent house of reputation if some of you young men reputation was ruined I see that and um, um, an apology is going to be coming in and people are going to be apologizing and trying to heal your reputation so however that is coming up they're going to be healing your reputation and protecting you and it could be Capricorns who are doing that okay so I see no love has been offered so um, the house of the Aquarians um, I see whatever is transpiring I see it's as if some of you are going to be thinking a hey, um, this is over I'm just waiting it out and I see some of you are making a plan to make a move because you realize that a relationship is over and I think that some of you realize this relationship is over I just have to find a way and figure this out and I see that um, it's, it's as if this period is the period where you think okay um, I gotta end this I gotta um, end this for myself first before I can end it um, because if I don't end it with myself first I'm not going to be able I'm just going to be pulling on pulling on pulling on and I see um, that you are going to end it and you are going to let it show that you know whenever it's time for you to move on you know just move on um, or I see that you guys are going to be planning um, your way out what is your next move what is your next step you're gonna start saving more because I see that you realize that a situation has come to an end and I think it has come to an end for a very long time but you're just seeing it now okay I see some in um, some um, communication I see that some of you need to um, heal a situation this was what I said some of you were not facing up to healing your karmas and I see you're going to be facing um, facing this and really deciding I got to keep heal my karmas um, I got to face this I got to heal my karmas however it is happening and transpire I got to communicate I got to let people know um, what is happening and what is transpiring and I got to release myself from this situation because this either it's a karmatic relationship either it's a karmatic thing that you and someone else is going to but I see you're definitely going to be releasing yourself from um, whatever this karma is because it's in the 12th house and I see that you're going to be realizing that it is time for you to cut something and move on with your life so I hope this help um, um, air sign people please like share these videos share 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 um, if you would like to see the extended use the link to connect to my channel and use the link here to subscribe um, please remember um, that there's always an extended and it's for your individual signs okay I love you guys this is a collective um, reading for the air sign I will speak to you next month have a wonderful full moon mm -hmm.